This one is called the sleeping cat. Honestly, there's nothing sleeping about this move. I couldn't sleep this way. Anyways, um, for this one, it's gonna come from either a shoulder mount or a brass monkey or kind of a hybrid of the two, okay? So there's other ways to get into this, but I'm gonna show you the way that I found to be my favorite to get into it. Um, you can do this on spin or static, but I would say as you're transitioning into this move, it definitely does change the speed of the pull. And if it's feeling a little sketch, um, the spin can make it feel a little more sketch. So I would encourage you to start with it on static. And then if it feels comfortable on static, then take it to spin. Once you're like, oh, okay, I got this. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be entering from a shoulder mount, okay? From the floor, so you just have to be comfortable with your shoulder mount and hooking into a brass monkey hook. Okay, so if you haven't done a brass monkey hook, well, you're gonna do it for the first time, but you should, like I said, already be solid in your shoulder mount. So whichever shoulder I am shoulder mounting on, that's the knee that you wanna hook, okay? Because when we shoulder mount to a brass monkey, you actually technically can go to either side. If I shoulder mount on my left side, I can go to a left brass monkey or a right. But for this particular move, we wanna make sure that whichever shoulder is the one I'm shoulder mounting on, that's the knee that's gonna become the hook leg for your brass, okay? Also, as you're kind of doing the math on which leg goes where, whichever shoulder you're on, that's the one that's going to become an elbow hold, okay? So if you have one shoulder that feels more stable, more strong, flexible, whichever, you know, kind of do the math on what's going on there, okay? So we're going to go from our shoulder mount, we're going to shoot up, we're going to hook that leg, and then the same hand that was the same side shoulder is going to switch to an elbow, Okay, so let's look at what's going on there. Shoulder mount, legs come to the same side, shoot up and hook as if you were gonna go to a brass monkey, but instead we're gonna hook that elbow, okay? This hand, you're probably gonna wanna slide it close to that elbow, and then from here you're gonna think about scissoring your legs to slide them down. If it feels okay, this arm is gonna reach across and grab the opposite leg. Rehook in your breasts and continue on your merry way. Okay, so what's going on here with those legs? Our legs are in a brass monkey, which means one leg is to the front of the pole, one leg is to the back of the pole. Okay, so when we do straighten the legs, we're not losing contact, or at least we shouldn't be. Instead, we're scissoring the pole. So your legs are squeezing like this, and that's going to give you a point of contact. So your points of contact that you're going to have in this your shoulder, okay, because we're in the shoulder mount kind of position, your elbow, feels amazing. <laughs> Initially that hand, okay, you don't have to take that hand and grab the leg, that's kind of the final, you know, icing on the cake. And then your legs, as you sink into it, you're gonna feel pressure on the outside of one leg and on the inside of the other leg. So whichever was the hooked knee, you're gonna feel a point of contact somewhere around a little below the knee on the outside of the leg. And then the leg that was originally the straight leg or the non-hooking knee, you're gonna feel it on the inside of your leg, okay? So, ma, 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 ma. And then this hand either holding the pole or it's gonna reach across and grab the opposite leg. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but when I went into it, as I reached across with that hand, my elbow hand, I just grabbed my shoulder that's optional. I just literally feel like my hand is like running into my shoulder and what am I going to do with it? And either it becomes a fugly craw claw or I'm like, oh, I'm just going to hold on to something. Okay. So this grabbing on here doesn't necessarily add any more stability. doesn't really change the integrity of the technique. It's more so of like, well, it's there. I guess I'm going to grab it. Okay. Depending on length of your arms, torso, shoulder width, all those things, you know, your hand might end up in a different place. Okay. So it can grab, it can be freestanding, but it's not necessarily a point of contact that needs to be there to make this move work, okay? So with the legs on this one too, like when we go to a brass monkey, ordinarily, you know, when you go to a shoulder mount to a brass monkey, we'll really like shoot our legs up into it. Pretend you're on a very short ceiling. Some of you might already be, so it might not be hard to pretend. So you wanna keep the legs relatively low. So let's look at it from a little bit different angle from the side. When I go into this, I have room, I could shoot my legs up higher, but because I'm gonna be sliding my legs down, I actually wanna, pretend I have a low ceiling that it doesn't actually go that low, okay? So we have the same from another angle, shoulder mount, both legs hook the knee just barely above the hands. Other leg hooks, elbow, get it in that elbow pit, 
Legs are gonna straighten and slide down, let the butt drop. And if you feel comfortable, grab that other leg. Regrip, you can come out in a shoulder mount. You can go up into finish that brass monkey wherever you want to go with it, okay? So this one, the sleeping cat, or I like to think of it as the not so sleeping cat, okay? Try it out. Like I said, you definitely wanna be comfortable in a shoulder mount. Good idea would be to kind of feel it all out on the floor and be like, okay, which leg goes where? Right hand on red, left hand on blue. It's always good sometimes in moves, especially like this where we get all twisted up, to test it out on the floor and be like, okay, if I go here, shoulder mount, my legs go here, my elbow goes here, this, and ta-da. There we go, done. <laughs> okay, so always a good idea to kind of like, test it out and see because depending on where you're at strength wise how long you've been training before you try this trick you only have so many shoulder mounts and yes you can drop down into this you can go from a brass monkey and then start to transition into the shoulder mount position to get into this one so it doesn't have to go from a shoulder mount up into it okay so sleeping cat try it out see how it feels let me know if it feels amazing personally i don't think it feels amazing but i do like the look of the trick okay do it on spin do it on static put it together with some of your fave moves, make it your own personal masterpiece. Mm -hmm.